Good morning. Monday morning, July 26th. In some place I haven't been in a while. Alpine. I start off with Route 9W on Rockman Road, right off, you know, uh, right here in Alpine. I can get through the gate here. How do I go around here? Now I know this is known to be wet, especially uh, the, the like 50 <laughs> little ravine crossings, kind of a stream like scenario, but it's okay. The ground's damp. It really deluged through the night. It was just coming down. So anyway, just a nice fun ride. It's really hot today. I think the humidity is supposed to go down. I think the humidity is supposed to go down as the day goes on. So let's see what that's all about. All right, making our first left turn over this little bridge. Oh, look at the mud. This is ridiculous. Oh boy. <laughs> I've never seen it this bad. <sighs> never seen it this bad. Anyway, so this is a gentle route. Well, there's a couple little spots in the beginning, just you gotta, you know, apply a little bit of effort, but quite gentle. Then when we get halfway through on the uh, Alpine, or the Rockley side, it gets quite hilly. Well, it's actually quite hilly when we get down the hill, you know, a few miles into the ride, so. Plenty of shade in here. Didn't know where I wanted to go again this morning. <laughs> Can't make my mind up these days. All right, so I know I'm bearing all to the left as we go through here. a little up right there. Yeah, this is, it's nice and gentle, gives you a chance to warm up. I'm just feeling a little awful today again. I always feel awful. That's why I don't row ride. Always feel awful. going up here. I guess we go around right over here. <laughs> oh, slipped out on that wet rock. Yeah. <sighs> okay, soaking wet. Soaking wet. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hello. Oh boy, did it rain up here, huh? I know. Oh, I've never seen it. This the dogs are fine. I've never seen it this ridiculous. <laughs> oh. I'll go over here. Oh. Hello, guys. Hello, fellas. Hello, everyone. I'm on your left here, fella. He's good. They're all good. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a wet day, huh? Oh yeah. <sighs> Yes, you're going to be all dirty. You're all dirty already. Look how dirty you guys are. You're all muddy. Oh, this might have been a bad choice today. As muddy as this is. <sighs> Trees down. Bugs are out already. I brought the insect repellent, I put it on. And yes, mosquitoes bite right through clothing. 
So it's best to wear loose clothing because they kind of know that they can't get through because it's far away from the skin. All right, I think I'm going to the left here again. Some climbing through here I wasn't ready for. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that, boy. shift them back Where am I going here? This is the question. If we go straight up here, get on the rocks, and then where do I go here is the question. I guess it's to the right, because I can't see. I can't see. Oh, I need to turn off the rock sooner. That's what it was. I didn't see it. All right, let's get back on. Oh, yeah, see? This is where I never see. Where's the trail to the left? Yeah, that's a little bit tough through there. hands are so numb. So numb. <laughs> Alright, so a rock garden here to ride through. Let's get through this rock. Get way back. And where's it going around? To the left it looks like. Yeah. That's tricky for me today. Yeah, that was tricky for me, especially with all the wet rocks. Very tricky today. <laughs> yeah. And I guess to the left. I gotta shake my hand out right here. Go for stop recording. What they call this again? Not stoned again. That's the other one. What they call this? Something slider? Or... I almost got the name in my head. Sidewinder? I think it's called Sidewinder.
But when we get up here, it becomes Sidewinder. This might be Big Tony or something. I think the one before it is called something different. Yeah, so, so up here, there's not a lot of, of not a lot of brush on the side of the trail to grow over, like all the places I've been going. But the trees can definitely, like the branches can definitely hang lower. Well, I guess they hang lower from all the water hanging on them because they're wet. There. Tell people it's mostly a downhill, then you get this sucker right here. Had to ratchet myself right there, go around that. You could ride through the rocks there if you want. I might have done that one time. Hello, hello fella, hello, hello. At least he's good with the bicycles. He's yeah, good with he's the bicycle. Thanks, sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, people have dogs. Yep, the life of a dog owner. I'll tell you all about that. That's a tough one. Well, when you're raising it alone or, or caring for it alone, it's tough. I keep getting my tires wet. Yeah, I've never gotten this slow down here. <laughs> I may not even post this video either. <laughs> Just look at it for myself. So sidewinder, so yeah, so there's some berms up here. So this is where we want to go to the left. And then there should be another left. Yeah, there we go. I remember some things. Some spots. If you don't have any energy, it's just hard to maneuver through things because when you need to when you need to put the power down, and if you don't have it, it's just tough, you know. I'm trying to drive my hands in the air. Alright. Keep the gear I'm in here. These are all the Big berms and guys who can do them fast. Nice drops here. Alright, so we have a rock garden section I want to get through here and put in a different gear for that. Way back. Yeah, that's tough. That seemed tougher than usual. I haven't been here in a long time, but because all the weight, the, the rocks were just so many, you were hitting the face of them, like no roll off to get to the next. So I did that on my cross country bike. That was real challenging. Now you can go around that spot I just did. 
But yeah, that was challenging. So here I'm coming down on the face of another rock. So you just got to prepare for it. And I forget what's over here. I think I can just ride up and over this stuff. Yeah, that's a new one. Let's get up over here. And there's a the big drop here. Let me get one here. Another drop here. Yeah. <laughs> Another little one here. Hang on, Rob, hang on. Yeah. And this is soaking wet, this slate. Yeah, this slate is soaking wet. I don't want to really use any brakes. Yeah, that's tough with the uh, when it's that that kind of wet. Oh boy. So that was the most difficult part. You got another little, uh, just a little bridge here. Yeah. I came up this once and I made it real far and then that that steepest spot, that little bridge, like that you know two foot bridge, wooden pegs, I tried riding up the front of that. I tried riding right up that and I fell straight back. Fell straight back. Where am I going here? Let's find a line through these damn rocks. Is there a line through these damn rocks? Let's just get through it. Let's see. Keep your weight back on. Where's the damn line? I don't see one. I don't see one. Let's go over here. Through this little ravine between these rocks. <laughs> yeah, that was tough because it threw my tires. I got right in the uh, the mud. Just pushed me right in. Oh boy. Sidewinder. Fingers are numb, completely numb. I'm gonna have to stop and adjust them because I can't feel the levers just about. I'm gonna stop right here. GoPro, stop recording. All right, so it's the bottom of Sidewinder. Well, I always like this part. You'll see what I mean. I think there's birch trees and it's just the setting down here is kind of cool. Yeah, this mud is, makes it so much harder. Flying all over the place, slippery. Almost like heavy sand over here. What is that sand? Is that literally sand underneath some of this stuff? A little tiny log here. Oh, these people would fly off the top of that. So I tighten my pedals up a quarter of a turn on all both sides, both pedals. Right, you know, we know we've done this before, right? I forgot about that spot. That's another fun spot. Those are big drops. You just gotta really let the bike go. Really let the bike go in front of you. Let the seat just fly between your legs. That's how I do it. And I got my seat all the way up. Just when I stand on the pedals, that the bike can still fit between my legs, and that's really all that matters. All right? When you need it, and this is just full of rugby. We're on these like we're on these like little on these hills, kind of coming down. And now, why why are all these logs? I don't know. So what's under here? So this is where I just got to plow, plow through. And get soaked. See, that threw my front wheel, and I got down there. I just hung on. Yeah, so that's how, that's how I come back totally muddy. Right, let me see where I'm at. This is it right here. Yeah, I think this is it right here. 
and there's a real couple hard spots getting across. Like you get a couple real, a real couple real steep spots just come up. So this is the second climb back up to kind of where I was, up by the top of Ruckman Road. I'm doing this real slow. I remember the first time I came down here, I loved it. your pedal doesn't hit on that root. <laughs> I can hit a little bit. All right, so what is that to the left there? Don't know. So many bugs, so many gnats, it's like gnats. The mosquitoes you normally hear buzzing, right? Look at the gnats. Look at it up there, guys. <clears throat> yeah, that was tough. I lost my balance at her gain. That's the toughest spot right there. Let the turn right here. And this is stoned again. Get my breath.
really would like to see my gears, but I can't. Now that I flick the mac mac here we go. Here we go. I don't have the gears. I haven't turned off the, the, the GPS box. I was riding the other bike. Damn. I'll set that back up when I stop. Stoned again because of all the rocks, right? There's kind of narrow. Where are you going here, Rabbi? There you go. 